Can your periods restart after menopause? Let's find out. So you're going through menopause, hot flashes, brain fog, mood swings, vaginal dryness, the works, but at least you don't have any more periods, right? And then you spring a leak. Nope, not just spotting, a full-blown period. What's up? Your healthcare provider confirmed with a blood test that you're menopausal. Your healthcare provider probably ran an FSH, a follicle stimulating hormone, which indicates how much estrogen you're making. An FSH over 30 means you're menopausal. You've run out of eggs, so no more ovarian estrogen production. But that doesn't mean your bleeding stops. In fact, it can take a couple of years or longer if you're using hormone replacement therapy to stop bleeding. Menopausal bleeding is not actual periods. It's more of a breakthrough bleed caused by hormonal imbalance. Your uterus lining is built up by estrogen and stabilized by progesterone. In an actual reproductive menstrual cycle, the high levels of estrogen in the first half of the cycle build up the uterine lining, and then after ovulation, progesterone stabilizes the lining. If pregnancy does not occur, your uterine lining sheds, which is an actual period. During the five to 15 years before menopause called perimenopause, you make so much less progesterone, your periods can become irregular. Your bleeding is heavier, you even skip periods altogether. Once your last egg ovulates, then you're menopausal. Estrogen is made by the developing follicles that try to be the egg of the month. No more follicles, no more estrogen from your ovaries, which causes your pituitary FSH to rise to menopausal levels. But your adrenal glands still make some estrogen and your fat cells store some estrogen. So after menopause, even if you're not using hormone replacement therapy, you can still have enough estrogen on board to build up that uterine lining. Now that lining will shed, which looks like a period. And your adrenal glands also make about 5% of your progesterone needs. Or if you're taking hormone replacement therapy, the progesterone you're taking helps to stabilize your lining. It's tricky getting estrogen and progesterone levels balanced in menopausal women to prevent periods. When estrogen level is too low, your uterine lining becomes friable, which leads to spotting, especially after intercourse or high impact exercise. When progesterone is too low compared to estrogen, your menopausal periods are heavy. When you're under considerable stress, the progesterone you're taking as hormone replacement therapy is used up by your adrenal glands to make the stress hormone cortisol, which means your menopausal bleeding can be excessive. The year that my mother became terminally ill was really stressful. In spite of my best efforts, the stress of taking care of her, my family, my patients, and running my businesses took a toll. Thankfully, I supported myself with extra Genesis Gold so I didn't get sick, but my adrenals robbed my uterus of the bioidentical progesterone I was taking, and I had terrific breakthrough bleeds that looked like I was hemorrhaging. Now I knew what it was, but just in case I got a pelvic ultrasound and an endometrial biopsy, both were normal. I adjusted my bioidentical hormones accordingly and stayed sane and relatively dry until my mother passed away. Now, going through menopause can be hard. What you need is a plan. Why don't you sign up for my free guide on how to develop your own menopause action plan? The link is in the description. If you're postmenopausal and you haven't had a period for over two years and you suddenly start bleeding, you really need to get checked by your healthcare provider. A pelvic ultrasound can determine if your uterus lining is too thick, which can be a sign of endometrial cancer. If you're using hormone replacement therapy for over two years without a period and then you start bleeding, you also need to talk to your healthcare provider to order a pelvic ultrasound and to help you adjust your hormones. Remember, most menopausal women do not just stop bleeding. Their uterus kind of peters out over a year or two. While using hormone replacement therapy can really help mitigate the symptoms of menopause like hot flashes, insomnia, moodiness, and brain fog, your uterus takes her own sweet time to adjusting to the exogenous, not your own hormones. I'll see you in the next video.